As the sun sets on the nation's 41st president, there is fresh light on his rivalry and later friendship with former Kansas Senator Bob Dole. They had a very interesting and intertwined legacy. The Dole Bob. Institute's director, Bill Lacey, them. knew both men and worked on Dole's 88 campaign, running against Bush for the party's nomination for president for the second time. The first time was in 1980. They were very bitter rivals, even had very bitter words for each other during the 88 nomination fight. In time, they became fast friends, as Bush would later call it in 2008, as he received the Dole Leadership Prize in Lawrence. Dole was Senate Minority Leader during Bush's presidency. He ran a good campaign and we were political opponents and all, but the best of the thing in our system, you come together and work for a common good and common goal. And I could not have had a better leader uh, on our side. That mutual respect now on display. A letter from Bush thanking Dole for his friendship amid his re-election loss. Kansans like Patricia Harbaugh are saying thank you too in their own way in this memorial book. I watched the funeral service on TV and it was so touching. As a nation says goodbye, this moment now emblematic of a friendship decades in the making. History will write about the two of them separately, but it'll write about the two of them together in many ways. And Bill Lacey tells me that he recently saw Bob Dole and he knows that standing to salute President Bush like that was both physically and emotionally a major undertaking for Dole. In a statement, Bob and Elizabeth Dole said of Bush, our nation has lost a cherished servant leader who has truly been a man for all seasons.